What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to install a upgraded clutch fork and pivot ball on your Nissan 300ZX Z32. So I'm in the middle of a pretty big build in my Nissan 300ZX right now. Uh, if you want to get more into that, check out my other videos, but currently I have my transmission out, so I wanted to upgrade my clutch fork. This is a good option for anyone who is going to be running more power in their Z, upgrading their clutch or anything along those lines. This is the OEM clutch fork that's in the 300ZX. There's nothing wrong with it, it works, but it's just made from thinner material and it's not as strong as this new upgraded one. So if, you, if you're running more power or you have an upgraded clutch or a pressure plate or anything like that in your Z, these do tend to flex over time. Also, the pivot ball that comes with this new kit is also a lot stronger than the OEM one that's in the car already. This will definitely improve your shifting and your pedal response. And this is a very popular upgrade among, amongst all Z owners when you have access to the transmission components. So I have my old clutch fork removed. What you'll have to do is press out the old throwout bearing and press in your new one. I did that already. You can do this at any mechanic shop. Maybe they would do it for you for a couple bucks. Or if you have a friend who has a press that can do it for you. I had a friend who owns a mechanic shop and he pressed this up for me, so that's done already. You can use the same throat bearing sleeve. And then the new kit also comes with the clutch fork. I got this one from Z1 Motorsports. As you can see, their brand is on there, like every other product that they sell. It's a little different than this one. So this is the front and this is the back. So that's the old spring. And then this also comes with a new spring that you're going to run. Uh, the new pivot ball, like I mentioned, and a new spring for the pivot ball. I also ordered a new boot. This is optional. You can run your OEM one. You do not need to change this. My old one was torn. That's why I have a new one. So this is the inside of the transmission. You can see I have everything removed and I cleaned it out as much as I could because it was very greasy in here. I had a rear main seal leak. For those of you that aren't familiar with my videos, I'm doing a NATT build on my 1990 Nissan 300ZX. I am turbocharging the NA motor and I'm keeping my stock NA transmission, but I'll be running twin turbo clutch and flywheel. The twin turbo flywheel is slightly bigger in diameter compared to the NA flywheel. So you have to trim and grind down a bit of the bell housing on the NA transmission for clearance. So that's what I did here. This is pretty much the only part that you have to grind. If I do need to grind more, I will once I get everything test fitted, but this is what I did so far. So first, what we wanna do is take out this pivot ball. Uh, you need a 17 millimeter deep socket for that. And then we'll put in our new one and then torque the new one to about 27 foot pounds. That's how much I'm gonna to torque it to. So when installing the new one, make sure you put some thread locker on here. I believe the service manual says you can do it anywhere between 23 and 31 foot pounds. Okay, so with that torqued down, now we're gonna prep our new clutch fork to install. So the way it wants to sit on here is like this. So we need to grease all points of contact here. So we're gonna grease a little bit here. You don't need very much. And then on the clutch fork, we're gonna grease here and at the top. So now before I do anything else, I wanna get this little pivot ball spring uh, inside the clutch fork here. And the way it should go in is like this. And then it will sit, there's a groove inside there. It'll sit like there. This is gonna be hard to get in. You'll probably have to use needle nose pliers or something like that to get it in there, but. Okay, so that is seated in there pretty good, just like that. And now with that, we can install this spring into our throat bearing sleeve. And this will go in just like this. 
actually, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna grease this up a little bit. I'm not gonna put very much because I already have grease over here. So the way this is gonna go on is you're gonna flip it upside down and there's grooves right here on the clutch fork. That's where this flat part of the spring will sit, this part right here. So you just wanna kind of wedge it in there. There you have it. So after this is on, this should be able to move freely. So the last thing that we have left to do with this before we work on the transmission, where this will be mounted, is we need to grease some points here. So this is where that pivot ball will sit. We need to grease this up really good. And also inside the throw up bearing sleeve, you can see where that ridge is. So this is a grease ridge right in the middle. So right there, we need to grease this up really good. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So here in the transmission, a couple things we need to grease up is this little sleeve right here. This is where that throw up bearing will slide on. So we need to grease this up a little bit, not too much, but you wanna grease this up a little bit and then the pivot ball as well. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And with that, we're ready to install. So I just put my dust boot in. Uh, around the edges at the bottom, I do like to put in some silicone or lubricant or something uh, just to keep the water and moisture out. So we're ready to install the clutch fork on. We're gonna put it in here, turn that throw up bearing just a little bit. Find its track a little bit. There you go. There it is. And then we're gonna push it into the pivot bowl. There it is. You hear that pop, so it should be able to move freely, just like that. So you wanna make sure everything moves smooth, no weird noises or anything like that. And that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have some time, check out my other videos for lots more Z32 content. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.